with general pub public and also within ourselves to remind us why we are doing uh, this because it is a completely voluntary uh, you know group Uh, which has come together where people are not known by their background as of profession or uh, by other kinds of backgrounds but actually uh, just for the passion uh, to see adaya river uh, restored uh, we are also in plan for uh, more walks uh, with the civil society uh, water audits uh, along the river Uh, and through the civil society group we wish to build a movement to voice out the need for this ecological resilience uh, in the city uh, through this river and uh, we wish to move to the other rivers also so uh, a second uh, interaction or uh, system shift that i would like to talk about is uh, as a part of part of the core group of nirotam where there are uh, other Uh, different uh, kind of people come joining uh, there but there are a certain uh, core members who started the entire initiative we are we also uh, i uh, also work in the background of analyzing the different issues uh, that as a group we have identified through our field visits on the river and possibly ideate uh, solutions for the same here as a group we are also looking at uh, functioning as a monitoring group to the government agencies who are looking at restoring the river uh, in phases so the uh, the value that uh, we see for this uh, movement base is equity where we want to see equity uh, a for the river and for the people who live uh, around it and people who want to see uh, the river uh, changed and Uh, a river with life um one other one purpose yes please go ahead another um, system shift uh, that uh, uh, i would like to share with you uh, is uh, that me and uday are also part of this water alliance that i spoke about where we are contributing uh, with other organizations to a larger framework for water security in chennai uh, in terms of policies Uh, and uh, the universal values that we assign to this project is actually equity and dignity where uh, water uh, is beyond any discrimination uh, and it, it is accessible to all kinds of people in the city and this water alliance for me is a base of setting up uh, synergistic uh, partnerships in the city with other organizations uh, and uh, one Uh, one other uh, system shift uh, and a breakthrough i see is a very personal in account um, and it it is uh, obviously because of uh, you monica i have never thought of getting into process work before and i started working through this uh, transformational leadership workshop and pract- and started practicing it in real life but uh, here i am uh, talking to all of you uh and with you monica who has repeatedly made me realize that i might just be made to do process work thank you to you thank you um uh, you know prithvi so to me this work is about combining process with the scientific knowledge of any discipline and that's what what you are bringing uh, to the forefront and that through that we are self transform how do we give great process work with the results we wish to see thank you so much prithvi and we will break and then join everyone again after this break are you a game changer do you care about creating a vibrant future for humanity planet If you care, you'll choose to engage in strategic action in order to transform the realities of today for generating a thriving planet. Find out how you can do this. Read the award-winning book Radical Transformational Leadership by Dr. Monica Sharma. This book is a systemic exploration of how to work with and transform the interlocking circumstances contributing to the complex problems we're facing. There's a chance of achieving a world that manifests peace, equity, and well-being for everyone. And this work offers the readers the creative ways and means of contributing to such a world-changing agenda. Are you satisfied with the world as it is today? 
If you're not satisfied, join us for a program to unleash your full potential with Dr. Monica Sharma starting March 2019 in Oakland, California. It's open to all changemakers wanting to generate equitable and sustainable results for well-being. Contact 415-808-4465. That's 415-808-4465. Go to risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. That's risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. Everyone has the potential to be a leader, a person who creates a new future through actions in society, at home, and at work. In this program, you'll discover pathways for unleashing our human potential to create new futures through strategic action. Again, join us for a program to unleash your full potential with Dr. Monica Sharma in March 2019 in Oakland, California. Contact 415-808-4465. That's 415-808-4465. Go to risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. That's risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. We need new leadership capacities to face the challenges of today's world, to think differently, design strategically, and act on principles with accountability and generate results. These new capacities must be able to align principles, purpose, and practice to build a better world. Again, join us for a program to unleash your full potential with Dr. Monica Sharma in March 2019 in Oakland, California. Contact 415-808-4465. That's 415-808-4465. Go to risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. That's risetogetherbayarea.org forward slash leadership. It's great to be back again, and this is Monica, and Prithvi is with us as well. And so we'd like to just share a few thoughts as we move and complete this uh, session. Prithvi, what do you do differently in your current engagement because of this work? I actually uh, practice deep listening uh, in almost all walks of my life. Uh, and also I practice, 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 which is uh, very important in, uh, in process uh, work and in implementation. Uh, another learning uh, that uh, I want to share uh, is uh, very personal and very deep, I feel, uh, because uh, it has given me a certain kind of liberation, certain kind of freedom, where I can, uh, which, which I have shared in many of the uh, leadership workshops, it is that it is okay to be not okay. Sometimes it is okay to be not okay. And these are some of the learnings that I take forward in, uh, in, in, in my everyday life and I uh, try to work with uh, that. Great. I know the biggest limit is practice. You know, Peter Senge says that. I mean, he says that we learn new things we don't practice. And I sometimes wonder, we play tennis, we want to be a champion, we practice, practice. Why don't we practice when we really care about the, the planet and people? Yes. And I think we should also have a few takeaways for our listeners. What would you like to bring up, Sissy? Um, in summary, I would like to share a few things from my work. Uh, one is the need for disaster management and disaster preparedness in our country and to reimagine solutions with a different outlook uh, to achieve it uh, with the experience Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. Sorry, Chrissy, you were saying something and I interrupted. Uh, there is a need, as I said, there is a need to reimagine these solutions by harnessing knowledge and technology that we have in, the, in our present time and to create new patterns and systems and find solutions that are inclusive, equitable and sustainable and uh, which, uh, which where we don't have to uh, deal with situations that we uh, dealt with in uh, a city like Chennai in 2015 during the flood, which could have been avoided quite uh, well. Absolutely, that to use every crisis as a way in which we can reimagine and reorganize our efforts, delve deep down, down into what we can do, because human beings are open at that time to relearn what we, are, we, we can possibly do. Yes, use a crisis to transform societal ways of addressing problems. What else would you like to share? 
I would like to share about an experience or uh, as my thoughts from being an academician. Uh, even if I am uh, an, a young academician, uh, I feel there is a need for transformation uh, in the architecture uh, field in, uh, and in the kind of education uh, that we see in architecture where we intertwine it with social and ecological responsibility to create a sustainable and an equitable change. Uh, through uh, existing architectural practice in curriculum in uh, to transform everyday conversations that uh, architects have or architects and architecture students have uh, meetings and routine activities and uh, and at activities of the institution and of uh, the day to day life of an architect where uh, the where we can deliver tangible and measurable result in in terms of a sustainable and an equitable change for, for absolutely, absolutely. You know, this is true of all professional colleges. Our emphasis is on knowledge and skills, and it's on the technical dimensions of that profession. That is vital, but if we cannot enter a space of institutional transformation to that in our everyday work, and we cannot use these opportunities of learning for societal and ecological change, we are not going to be able to have a new generation of people and leaders that transform our humanity. Great. And another point, Chrissy, maybe, a third point? Uh, I feel in this day and age of technology, everything has become about the outside, how do we look or uh, how, how are we uh, behaving or uh, it's always judged with uh, social media and everything that we see. Uh, but uh, I feel that, it, that as humans and more specifically as change agents, it is time for us to look within ourselves to source our inner power as a basis of action, which would be much more meaningful and strong. And it would be an underlying foundation for anything that we uh, want to do. Absolutely, that's what your contribution is all about, Prithi. Sourcing the inner capacity as a foundation for all our work. Thank you so much. It was great to have you. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow.